All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Box Blair on Code Fights of the Intro Section, Island of Knowledge. So this is this is one of those ones where they kind of fucked you in the description because giving one example for this doesn't really do it justice. So let, let's explain what the problem is before we get started. And I struggled on this one for quite a while, and I had to get a little bit of help to solve it. I bought a hint. The hint didn't do anything for me. I uh, just wasted my gold. I would ask for a refund if they let me. Now... Uh, what's happening here is you have a 3x3 three three square, or you're evaluating every 3x3 three three square in the in the array, now, and then just returning the average, So uh, and rounding down, right? So all those numbers add up, you divide by 9, you get 15 over 9, and thus you return an array of 1, a nested array of 1. Now, where it gets a little confusing is when it isn't a nest when it's like a three by four right in this example and so what's what you're actually getting here is three and then you're moving over and then you're getting so you're getting each one of those values in the same row so in this case we're doing the first three 36 0 18 27 54 9 81 63 72 and you get you'll get an average of 40 and then you're moving over and you get 0, 18, 9, 54, 9, 0, 6, 3, 7, 2, 45. So you're going to, the first step is we're going to go left to right and getting three cubes. Then if there's a row below it, <laughs> it like a fourth row, we got to drop down and do that as well. So it's a lot of looping, a lot of, a lot of confusion and a very bad description. And they should be ashamed of themselves that this is their description. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, here, we're just going to create a... This is going to be the array that is going to store our response. Uh, and uh, we'll just call this image array. And we're going to set this equal to an empty array. So at the end of each iteration, we're going to push our value to that array. Now... Because there are nested lines, uh, we need to, as you can see here, before we start iterating, we have to create a new line, what I call the line array, and we're going to push an empty array to, we're going to create that empty array to push values into it, and then when we hit the end of that row, we're going to push the line into image array. Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to iterate through the array. Now, uh, here we'll call this var y is equal to zero to kind of give you an idea of a X and Y. So it gets really co convoluted really quick. So I started trying to use X and Y for coordinates, right? So while well, Y is less than the image uh, length minus two. All right, so Y minus two because we're iterating three spots at a time. So bam, 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 you guys get the idea. Y plus plus. So let's go ahead and increase now this is where within here uh, we create that line uh, item. And by the way, I should be using let. You want to be using let and as of pretty much now and const when you need it. Uh, there's no const in here, but start using let instead of ours. Um, Now, the next thing we have to do is kind of the same thing, except with, we want to do the same thing, except with uh, our X coordinate. And our X coordinate is going to be iterating through all values of Y minus 2, because remember we're doing a 3 by 3 grid. We have our, or let X equal 0. And then while X is less than our image Y, dot length minus two x plus plus all right so there we go with that first one all right here <laughs> now what we want to do is we want to create a very or keep on doing bar we want to create a sum variable because remember we have to get the average down the road and push that we want to create a, a count variable the count's just going to be used to divide by the amount of numbers that we have Which now that I'm thinking about it, we probably could have just used nine. And we'll, we'll test that out in a second once we get it working. 
So now we have to, now that we have our array, essentially, we need to actually iterate through the nine values. So it's going to be four, four, then let, we're going to use A is equal to Y. So this is how we're going to initialize where in those three by three cubes we are. And while A is less than Y plus three, so we want to get check the three values, A plus plus. And then here we have four, and we're essentially going to do the same thing, where let B be equal to X. And while B is less than X plus three, B plus plus. And here we are, now that we finally are here, we need to take our sum plus equal our original image. And in there, it's gonna be the A value and the B value. And then we're just gonna to add to count and drop down drop down in our remember our line now that here after after each one of those four loops we're just going to go ahead and push um math.floor remember we drop it off that value which is the sum divided by the count and then uh right above it right here still in the y for loop we are finally going to actually push the line to our image array. So we'll take image array dot push the line. And then finally at the end, return image array. Now let's save that and hopefully I have no syntax mistakes. It looks like everything's working. Now let's test something real quick because I think I can improve my code. All right, cool. So uh, it looks like we can do that. Like I imagine, we'll take out our let, simplify the code as much as we can. You know, we have four nested for loops, so this is going to get a little bit convoluted, no matter what you try and do. But again, the first step right here for these two these two lines for these two for loops, we are trying to capture the three by three grid. Next, we're creating a variable to store the data, and then a line variable for that. For, it, for that that three by three. In here, we're actually iterating through the three by three, we're pushing the sum, and then we're capturing the next three by three. And then finally, we're pushing, once we break out, once we get to the end of the right, the, the horizontal line, we're pushing that entire line over, and then we're dropping down a line, and we're repeating the process, and finally returning it. A lot of, this one had me stuck for a while, I had to get a lot of help. Um, <coughs> this was eventually how I was able to solve it. I hope you guys found it helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. And uh, if you'd like to join our Facebook group, that's cool as well. Or support me at patreon.com slash 360 I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.